Hi guys, you're all very welcome back to 3 Minute Tales. I'm your host, Shanna Key. Now please, after this video, feel free to tell me what the weather's like where you are in the world because here it is terrible. I'm going around, I have a rain mac on, a pullover, it's been raining for days, it's cold, it's the middle of June, and it's Ireland. What more can I say? Anyway, we'll be bringing you stories from all over the world and today's story is from Thailand. It's a beautiful little tale about two little boys who rescue a very, very rare albino macaque. This animal has the heart of a lion and the loyalty you just would not believe. So please sit back, enjoy. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave a comment, you can do so down below. And if you haven't already hit that little subscribe button, please do so. Because as I said before, the more subscribers this channel gets, the wider our audience and the more people get to listen to these beautiful heartwarming stories that will warm up their cold hearts. So until the next time, thank you so much. I'm Shanna Key. In 2010, in a remote mountain village near Mei Hang Son in northwestern Thailand, nine year old Dang Suratat and his younger brother were searching for firewood in the surrounding jungle. At the foot of a tree, the two young boys stumbled upon a small injured macaque. These monkeys are very common in the area, but what was so remarkable about this animal was that it was an incredibly rare albino macaque. Dang wrapped it in a cloth and carried the juvenile monkey back to his family's tiny wooden house. Over the period of a few months, the monkey was nursed back to health by the two young boys and their father, Nanda. The boys both grew very attached to the monkey, naming him Boon Me, meaning lucky. However, the time eventually came to release the animal back into the wild. It had grown unusually large for a macaque, and although albino monkeys are often shunned by other groups of primates, Nanda reassured his boys that Boom Me would be okay due to his large physical size. They walked deep into the jungle and reluctantly released the monkey who climbed a large tree and slowly disappeared. The boys were sad to see the monkey go, but they knew that the animal being returned to its natural habitat was the best thing to do. Two years later, Dang, who was now 11 years old, was again deep in the jungle searching for food. As he struggled through the heavy undergrowth, he was struck by how unusually quiet it had become. As he reached an opening in the trees, he was stopped in his tracks by a deafening roar. Dang's heart almost stopped with fright as the frenzied scream of an animal got louder and louder. Running towards him at great speed and with his huge canine teeth exposed, a frenzied boon me ran at the terrified child. Dang dropped his basket of berries and shut his eyes in anticipation of the wild animal's attack. However, all Dang felt was a gust of breeze as the monkey leapt past him, still scratching wildly. The baffled and petrified Dang opened his eyes just in time to see Boon Me attack a tiger that had been stalking the young boy. Dang ran for his life as the frenzied screams and roars of the monkey and the tiger fighting continued behind him. Somehow, Dang made his way home safely and told his father about what had happened. Arming themselves with machetes and other weapons, Dang's father, along with Dang and a number of other villagers, went into the jungle in search of the animals. After trekking almost a kilometre through the undergrowth, they eventually found the site and came across the mauled remains of Boon Me. Even knowing that he was no physical match for the tiger, the loyal macaque, who had remained unobserved for two years, sacrificed his own life for the little boy who had saved him two years earlier. <laughs> 